Uh, I guess I've got two heavy things to talk about. Um, and in my mind, they're both positive. Um, this township and the taxpayers spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on a Dominion voting machine. And from, September, from August to November, we doubled, more than doubled the number of voters. We cut in half the time to report. In other words, the primary results were not reported until about 6 in the morning. By midnight, our competent clerk, who's not an attorney, has a legal education, but our competent clerk had the results reported pursuant to Dominion. Two audits have been conducted. I have spoken with three lawyers who are uh, Clara Locke and Meyer, who are the premier leading defamation attorneys in the United States. What kind of attorneys? Excuse me, I said Claire, Locke, and Meyer. They are defamation attorneys. And they find credibility in Dominion. They find accuracy in Dominion. I frankly find the domestic terrorists who went to our capital, both Lansing and Washington, D.C., to be disgusting. Because the results are done. The results appear to be accurate. And we have had a double audit here in Plymouth Township. And I'm going to welcome those attorneys and the Dominion people to come in here. And our books are open in the clerk's office. But we're getting a little tired of the false accusations. And we're fighting back with the disgusting challenges to truth that our voting stands as what was reported on Tuesday night, November 3rd, on a slightly less controversial... Oh, uh, I will not take away from Mr. Zantop's time. Good evening. Thank you. Yeah, you please. say make us green? Are we supposed Let's to... Let's go. You're fine. Oh. They, they, they have red and green. Oh. We're, we're still good. My name is Dwayne Zantop. I'm in uh, Concord Drive in Plymouth. On January 6, 2021, thousands of people attended a rally at the Michigan State Capitol. There were families, veterans, pastors, and pr leading prayers and patriots from all walks of life that love this country in attendance. There was no destruction of property, burning of buildings, looting, or any other acts of insurrection that we have seen in other cities that have been described as peaceful protests. I know because I was there and I have no regrets. At the April 6th meeting, Township Board meeting, Trustee Stewart described the people that attended the event as domestic terrorists. I spent six years in the military and I'm up on no means a terrorist or any other, there were any other terrorists in attendance at this event. People that love this country are getting tired of these false accusations being called terrorists. Mr. Stewart, we are deeply offended by your remarks and I believe you owe us an apology. Thank you. Hey, thank you very much. Do I get to respond? Uh, you can respond at the end of the meeting if you oh, like. Oh, okay. All right. I, mean, well, I, I don't want to turn this to... into a political debate. My name is Dan Callahan. I live in Clemens Drive. I've been a resident for 21 years. I'm a United States Marine Corps veteran. I served my country with two combat tours in Vietnam. I am a conservative Republican and support the Constitution of the United States of America. As guaranteed by the First Amendment, I have the right to free speech and the right to assemble. Mr. Stewart has no right to refer to me as a domestic terrorist because I am allowed at a rally at the Michigan Capitol. Furthermore, I question his affiliation to the Republican Party. Mr. Stewart, you owe me and every other veteran in Plymouth Township an apology. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Anyone else?